was going to reveal that they were going to change gender. Um, but no, it isn't. Um, it's for um, a new baby to be announced to people which sex it's going to be before it's born. Uh, for some expectant parents, finding out the sex of their baby can be a momentous moment. Uh, these days, it's becoming more and more popular to share that news with family and friends by revealing the gender of the baby at a party, uh, sometimes in quite inventive ways. Now, sometimes the parents know and do this to kind of show everybody, um, you know, the, the, the sex of the child to come. And sometimes the parents don't even know. So it's a surprise to them. Uh, at the same time as everybody else. Uh, Joe Cresty is director of uh, Suffolk Babies and an antenatal teacher. Hello, Joe. Good morning, Mark. How are you? I'm very well. Now, how long have these been around? Uh, they've been going for years. I mean, I think it's, really? it's quite... Yeah, no, it's very big in America. And, um, and so it's something that I think is just sort of slowly kind of filtered over over to the UK as well. But it's certainly been, you know, really popular in America for, for a long time. So like everything, um, we tend to to copy. We may have seen it on the television there. We get a lot of US TV over these days. People have seen this in the way that we copied baby showers. Yeah, I think it's very similar to that and Halloween, you know, yeah. and all of like these big yeah. festivals. So, um, yeah, no, I think it's very similar to that. And I think actually it can, you know, it's completely up to individual choice, but it can be a really lovely thing. Um, and it's um, obviously, you know, I think people are having fewer and fewer children now, and they focus very much on the sort of the experience of the whole pregnancy, the birth that first year, and because everybody's very focused on, you know, sort of having a limited amount of maternity leave and then probably going back to work quite quickly, you know, the whole experience is, is very much sort of more valued, if you like, that whole journey. Um, so, yeah, so I can I completely understand why some people choose to do it, but I, again, also see that it's it's not for everyone. Yeah, I'll, I'll come to the not for everyone bit in a moment or two. So, so what examples uh, have you heard of of people doing this? How, how has it come about that they've done it? Um, well, it's like you were saying um, in the intro, I mean, it's quite, uh, there's a mixture of ways that people go about it. So some people will go and have their 20-week scan because that's when you can find out um, the gender of your baby. Um, and, um, and they'll have um, the radiographer put the sex of the baby in a sealed envelope so they won't know about it at all. They'll give that um, directly to uh, the person who's going to bake their cake. And so they'll reveal the sex of their baby as they cut into the cake and it'll either be pink or blue. Um, in the centre, and they'll reveal the sex of their, of their baby. To so their they don't know at time. all? They might not know at all. So the baker um, knows before they do? Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, other people, you know, one parent knows, but the others don't. Some people know the couple and then, you know, show the rest of their family or any um, siblings that that baby's going to have. Um, so, yeah, so there's, there's a variety of ways of going about it. Uh, and I've seen, because I, I, I went onto a well-known search engine and had a look around uh, yesterday, and there, there's lots of sort of party packs and stuff, so you can get balloons that you pop with pink or blue confetti in, for instance. Oh, wow, I've not heard of that one, but that's quite nice, isn't it? Um, but, yeah, so, no, I think there's lots of pe people always are going to jump on any bandwagon, aren't they, and, and find other ways to, to um, you know, sell you a product. Yeah, it, it, it is something that I had never heard about until only a week ago and uh, and asked around in the office and there were lots of blank looks from people because back in the day you didn't kind of do very much until the baby was born you know, even down to um, you know lots of children and I was a yellow baby that's probably why I've got an aversion mm -hmm. to Norwich City now but um, <laughs> you, you, you didn't kind of tempt fate No I think there is I mean there are still a lot of people who feel the same way um, and there are a lot of people, again, I would say from my experience in antenatal classes in the last three or four years, I think it is less popular for people to find out the sex of their baby before the birth. I think it's actually trending back the other way. Um, and fewer people find out now than, you know, when I first started teaching sort of 10 years ago. Um, but, you know, it's, it's I, I take your point. I think some people are really worried about, you know, kind of, you know, making sure everything in that pregnancy progresses smoothly. And um, and they don't want to, to attempt fate. And, but it's just so much about personal choice and I think it's fantastic that we have all of those choices available um, what is sort of interesting is that the, we know more and more from the research now about the importance of bonding with your child before birth and um, and I think that you know this can be a way that parents really can can sort of start doing that and um, and so if it is the right choice for them I think it's something mm. that we, well, we very much support 
Well, it, it's fascinating. We've got lots of comments coming in on this one. Some people have had them. Some are, are a little bit unsure. Um, but it's it's there and it's happening. Uh, I'm still getting to grips with baby showers, to be quite honest. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling very yeah, old now, at least. It's a lot of change, days. isn't it? It's a, it's a huge, you know, it's this huge thing now, sort of like the, the kind of all the things, the parties that people have, um, and before before their baby's born and at birth their child and things like that. But I think it's such a huge part of life. And, you know, it's something that's there to be celebrated. And I think everybody should be able to do that in their own way. Yeah, absolutely. It's down to personal choice, isn't it? Uh, Joe, great to talk to you. Thank you very much for coming on. Uh, Richard's with me now. Good morning, Richard. Good morning. Hi, thanks for joining us on the programme. So uh, you've had a gender reveal. Uh, (laughs) Yes. Yeah, for uh, when my uh, daughter was was born. Tell us about it. What, what What was the thinking behind it? Um, essentially we just, we wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, you, you know, everybody kind of, when you're, you're having a baby and you have the, the 20 week scan and, you know, you have that moment, just the two of you in the room and we kind of wanted to involve more of the family with that and, you know, have share more of the experience and the joy. And my wife wasn't so keen on having, um, just a standard kind of baby shower where it's usually just all the women together. She wanted to invite friends and families and partners and everybody to enjoy it. So we thought we'd, you know, we'd, we'd seen them online and, you know, it's, it's quite, um, I think it's quite an Americanized idea. But and it just, it, it, it it just suited you. Fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Certainly. So, so when you, when you had the scan, did either of you know the sex of the child at that point or was that kept from you? No, what we did, we arranged for the sonographer to write it on a piece of paper uh, that was then kept in an envelope, which then um, my wife had to keep away from me because I would have opened it given half a second's chance. Um, and she then passed that on to um, a friend who baked a cake for us, which was very neutral. It was all white on the outside. Uh, and inside, when you cut into it, it was going to be either uh, bright pink or bright blue. So we had absolutely no idea until we had all of our friends and family around us and we cut into that cake, and uh, we've got a video of it, and I think you can kind of see the surprise on our faces when we found out that we were having a girl, because we convinced ourselves that we were having another boy. Right, okay, so that was a big shock for you, um, and, and everybody else there sharing that moment with you. Um, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah, yeah. It, it was beautiful, and, and you know, that was one of the things that um, a lot of our friends said, that they were... It, you know, it was something that they hadn't done before either, and they, they really enjoyed being able to share that experience yeah. with us. Some people are a bit unsure about it, Richard, and I, you know, because you know, back in the day, you were everybody was very, very cautious about you yes. know painting a bedroom, getting the blue or, or, or pink clothes. You know, so lots of kids yeah. were yellow like me for tempting fate. And some people kind of think, oh, I'm not really sure about this. Yeah, no, I, I completely understand, and, and we were very much that way with um, our first child, uh, our son that was born. Yeah, and I think it was more just something of of really getting prepared a bit better the second time around. You know, we had all of the the kind of baby clothes for boys, but we weren't sure if, and you know, we've only got a finite amount of space within our house anyway. Mm. So, is it that we we hold on to these clothes, or you know, we thought we well, we'll you know we'll find out, and then we can get prepare better and also let our son know that was the other thing you know we wanted to let him because he was only um he was only three at the time and we wanted him to say look you know you, you're gonna have a baby sister and get him excited about yeah. you know the, the new was, it, was he coming. okay when it was a sister did he want because i would worry that the the sibling would want a brother uh maybe no, he it, was he was okay he was absolutely fine he was he well we were all convinced it was going to be a boy i mean he was the first one to say it was going to be a boy and then when we found out it was a girl, he, you know, he was over the moon as well. He was really happy. Mm. And the two of them are absolutely inseparable. <laughs> well, that's great. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, so, 